just for reference, when you come here, take the dirt trail. It might seem like an obvious thing, but it's not because there's a driveway right there. Don't take the driveway. See the sign? Go to the right down the dirt, which is right along the road. So it doesn't stay along the road for very long, but that's where you go. Today we're at Canyon View Preserve, which is part of the Placer Land Trust. Um, it happens to be located next to the uh, fire department, the, you know, like the CDF. One of them just took off. I'll show you that in a little, in a little bit. There's the, one of the other helicopters that they have up there. been here before um, I thought we'd come and enjoy this together this is one of those uh, little side of the road kind of deals where literally there's the freeway right over there it's a beautiful day it's only about oh 60 something right now heading to about 75 72 something like that yeah this is Canyon View Preserve isn't it pretty look at that yeah that is the uh, American River Canyon where we spend a lot of time um, I thought today we might go down and see what the rest of the trail has to hold. It's right off I-80 in Auburn, so if you're driving up 80 toward Reno, you can just pull off the road and take this little trail. It's about a mile and a half trail that um, was set aside in 2003. There's 50 acres here uh, that the Placer Land Trust, who's a great organization by the way, you should look them up. Um, bought to preserve this land. They're hoping to eventually one day, I don't know if they've done it yet, um, connect this area with the um, Auburn State Recreation Area, which is where Clementine Trail and all those places are that we've been. There's a big old bee. Hopefully it won't get me. Let me show you what the trail looks like so far. Okay, this is what part of the trail looks like so far. It's kind of narrow, but so far it's not too bad. We did come down a little tiny um, over there. There was a little sharp little corner, but I mean, it was nothing. It wasn't rocky or anything. Yeah, so let's see. There's a little bridge up here. It looks kind of cool. There's a little birdie in there. And there's a little birdie in the actual little birdie house. See the little birdie? Isn't he cute? He's going, what are you doing? Taking a picture of me. I don't know if you can see him or not. Very cool. Here's the little bridge. Oh, it looks like it goes down over some kind of drainage canal. Not exactly scenic, but you know. Oh, look, this isn't too bad over here, though. That's pretty. Look at that. Look at those pretty flowers right there. Right on. I like this. Ooh, there's bees. Ooh. We need bees. This is pretty. Well, here's your interpretive uh, sign that it says, Seen Better Days. Plants and pollinators, native plants on the Canyon View Preserve. Another cool little bridge. What is this? Ooh, look at that. It's cool down here. It's pretty. And do little bugs. It's way better than it looks on the map. On the map. Look at that nice, ooh, I like that granite. Look at that granite, isn't that pretty? Canyon View Riparian Restoration Trail Project. Oh, there's a little squirrel bouncing around in the trees. He just kind of <laughs> made all the trees jiggle. Canyon View, and there's a little map. Probably can't see it with the glare, but there's a little right there that says, you are here. Well, technically I'm not, I'm, I'm right here where I'm standing, but this little trail goes, a mile and a half little round trail goes out. So we do cross a, a little bit of a creek at some point. Very cool. Here's your little um, tree and shrub guides and wildflower identification guide. 
how about we grab one or two? One of those and one of those. We'll check that out. Things to beware of. Poison oak, kitty kitties, and bears, and of course, the back end of the rattlesnake. It's the front end of the rattlesnake you gotta worry about. This is where we just came from, and we're gonna go that way. And this trail behind me is the other side of the loop. So we're gonna go down that way and loop around and come back out this way to go back there to go back out to the car. Ready? Let's go. Well, it looks like they got the picnic area open that I read about that they were going to do. The website wasn't exactly up to date, but you go off that way to the picnic area, which you can actually see from right here. There's the table. This is, this is the trail that we're going to keep going on. Um, they're still working on restoring this to, uh, you know, native habitat and all that. Although I don't know why. Oh, maybe there's a different picnic area. Because that does go down there. Well, let's go see. I gotta know these things, you know? Let's go see what it says. I mean, it says picnic area that way. Maybe that's just another picnic table that I just saw, just a separate one. Hmm. Canyon View Trail, one mile. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I see. That's the bridge we came out on. Okay, there's another, wow, this is confusing. This is the trail. Uh, is this another trail? Is this the same trail? Where are we going? This is picnic area this way. Does this go back around to that table right there? How confusing. Let's see. There's a lot of people actually on this trail, which is surprising. I mean, there's like two or three people behind me and about four or five in front of me. Wow, this is not where I thought I was going. But, oh, what the heck, huh? Let's just keep going. There's another little birdie house. No little birdie sticking out of it. That sign says, Picnic Area Canyon View Trail. Isn't that the same direction? Well, let's see. Okay, let's go up to the, the mystery picnic area, which was up there, which is what we saw. Okay, there's the picnic table that we saw from the other side at the top of that hill there just before we went down and around. So I guess the, I read the arrows wrong or something. I'll have to go back and check that out. Nice little bench, nice little uh, interpretive sign. Way over there, can you see it? Do ya? That is the Forest Hill Bridge. We've been under there. So that's the confluence area of the American River. Actually, look, you can see on the hillside over there, see how some of those trees on that hill are just a little, well, browner than they should be? Those are the ones that were in the fire last October. Was it October? Oh, well, it was last year. I can't remember exactly when. End of 2021, there was a fire and uh, kind of took out some of the, I think it was 600 acres when they finally told it up. So let me give you a little rundown of this place where we're at. I just told you it was the Canyon View Preserve, and I've told you that like three times already, or maybe four, or five, who knows. It's, uh, I told you this already, but you're gonna hear it again. 50 acres of canyon rimland north of Auburn, which is where we're at, um, protected since 2003 by acquisition by the Placer Land Trust in partnership with the American Land Conservancy and the Immigrant Trails Greenway Trust. I'm reading this for you so you don't have to. It says it's a mile and a half public trail system, although it does also say 1.25 miles, so it's open to interpretation. Rehabilitation of the Sierra Canyon Creek. Oh, that's the creek that we're gonna cross over. It includes removal of invasive plant species as well as stream bed enha enhancement and stabilization to reduce erosion and sediment flowing into the North Fork of the American River. That North Fork of the American River is where the Clementine Trail is, where the North Fork Dam is that we saw a couple videos ago. They also go in and construct fire breaks and remove the debris that's under the, the uh, trees. Future improvements include benches, which I think I'm sitting on, uh, picnic tables, and interpretive signs along the trail. I think they probably have already done uh, most of that because I see them. I don't know if they have plans for more. 
It's, it says the trust hopes to eventually connect the Canyon View Preserve Trail to the Auburn State Rec Area, providing an additional access point to the trails on the North Fork of the American River. I hope they actually end up doing that because that would be awesome. So let's see what the rest of the trail has to offer besides this beautiful view. Oh, well, there's some pretty birdies. Back up there, back up there, we came down from up there where the bench was, came down and around and then down to here. There's a lot of little bees and little butterflies around here. And a cute little barn up there. Actually, it's a barn house. It's a house painted like a barn. It's cute though. Another little tiny bridgelet. Not quite a bridge. See, this is what, uh, now remember when we did the no hands bridge, right? And it had the, the chain link fence that they'd put on top. This is more like what the, this is more like what the uh, side of the bridge was before they put the chain link fence up. So that's why it was when it said no hands and everybody used to get all freaked out about riding your horse no hands. It's because there was no sides like this, you know, similar to this, except of course, no hands is not wood. That must be a seasonal stream or something there because there's nothing there now. Then again, this is California. We don't have rain, so maybe someday we will. If we do have rain, I'll be sure to get out and go hiking so you can see what rain really looks like. You know, with the exception of the kind of distant background noise of the freeway, you could almost think that you're in the middle of nowhere. Not, not too bad. It's so pretty out here. Back over there, back over there through the trees and the other trees and the other trees are, is the freeway. Okay, coming up around another corner that, you know, could be, oh, this is a pretty rock. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. You hear the birds? Probably not. We were just right up there. We just came down here. Not, it's not much. Like going downstairs. Not too bad. It's pretty. Look at the little birdies down there. Probably can't see them, but they're right there. Hopping around by that tree. See the little birdies? Aren't they cute? It's pretty down here. Right. Yeah, so it keeps going a little ways then. That's good. Sweet. This is a pretty section right here. I just passed a couple people, so I had to turn off the camera. Um, one of them was a miner, and we know we can't have miners on YouTube. Oh, wow, this is pretty. This is pretty down in here. Getting farther away from the freeway, so you can hear the birds better. Well, you probably can't hear them because I got this microphone thing on, so you're probably going, shut up already. Yeah, this is a very uh, easy trail so far. It's not complicated at all. Very, very gradual, um, you know, inclines and declines, if there are any. I mean, not, there's not many. I mean, it's, it's really nice, actually. Ooh, what is that? Oh, great, now I have a choice to make. Okay, that's what this is. Sierra Creek Canyon Trail to picnic area. Okay. <laughs> when you come to the fork in the road, take a spoon because it says to picnic area that way or that way. Hmm. That looks more like the trail. That looks like it could be the picnic area. So either way, we're going to see both trails at some point. Okay. Oh, look. There's a bench up there, so that means it's a picnic area. This part right here reminds me of Placer Big Trees, which is outside of Forest Hill uh, down Mosquito Ridge Road. And it's a very, very cool, very secluded place. If you like bears, that's the place to go, man. It's very cool. Well, there's somebody's scat. I wonder what they got in there. Nuts and seeds. It's a little tiny, so 
I don't know exactly what it is. Probably something small like a, you know, fox or... It doesn't look like raccoon to me. Raccoon looks like cat poop. It was way too small to be bear, so we're good there. <laughs> you might be able to hear the helicopter coming back. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Kind of see it through the trees. Coming back to land. Uh, there it is. Up there, the, right up there. So again, we're faced with a, dile a dilemma, a fork in the road. Go this way or that way. Me and my goofy hat. So I guess if you are going to take this trail, if you stop at the rest stop outside of, you know, off of 80, just to stretch your legs, plan on a little bit longer than you think you're going to need because there's a few um, forks in the road and if you don't know which fork to take. So let's see where it goes. We're going to take the, you take the high road. No, we won't do that. Take the high road and I'll take the low road. I'm going to take the low road just to see where it goes. I'm going to, we'll probably end up up there somehow anyway, but, ooh, can you see it through the trees? Maybe not because it's probably not going to be, uh, you might be able to see, there's the bridge. See the bridge? Sweet. Ooh. This is more of the meandering part. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. So that other trail, uh, now does this trail go to the, there's a picnic table. So either, either that higher trail just goes and bypasses the picnic table, which I suspect that is the case, or this is the picnic table trail. Or, or the high road goes down to the picnic table and then you have to back back out with a full stomach to go back up there. Hello nature, don't bite me. Oh, it's a little squirrel or something squeaking at me. Okay, so apparently this goes down to the picnic table. So then, what the heck? What the heck, man? What the heck? It's a really nice picnic table. How in the heck did they get it down here? Gosh, horses. My guess is horses. It's a nice picnic table. Clean, too. No graffiti. <laughs> no, no, uh, no graffiti, no nothing. So that's cool. All right, let's move on up. Oh wait, here, ooh, there's a little sign. Oh, it's an Eagle Scout project. Here, Eagle Scout project by Michael Sean Collins. 2001, or 2021, sorry. Good job, Michael Sean Collins. In May of 21. Okay, now we're gonna go back up this hill. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, now that's a little steep. But that's okay. We can handle it. So I think this road must come back out on the high road that I did not take. You know, I guess they say, always take the high road. And I didn't. Wow, that's really out of place. Look at that. Agave? Is that an agave plant or an aloe vera plant? Not agave. I didn't mean agave. I meant aloe vera. Note to self. Don't take that low road again. Okay, no ticks. Just say no to ticks. Oh yeah, this is a little overgrown here. We don't like that. Okay, so note to self, don't go down to the picnic table because that is the other end of the loop and it's steep. This is the other less attractive side of the logs that we went through. So me and my goofy hat are almost back to those bridges that we, packed, we crossed over. Uh, the little red barn house is in front of us. We're gonna go that way and that way back out to the car. Let's go. I think if you do happen to stop your car on 80 and, and wanna go for a little walk, just go about as far as the third bridge or maybe a little past that. Once it starts to go downhill, like actually physically downhill, not emotionally downhill, um, you probably won't have, well, I mean, you could do it, but if you're on a time crunch or something, 
you might want to just take it to the third bridge, which is this one coming up. The little Canyon View Preserve version of a no hands bridge. So just something to keep in mind. They follow me everywhere I go. They're squirrels. Hi little squirrel. What you doing? How are you? Are you cute? Huh? Can I come over that way? Oh, he says I'm out of here. Something on your foot? Oh, got a bug. Well, I'm coming that way, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, he says, not before I do. <laughs> oh, hi, little lizard. What you doing, Mr. Lizard? Oh, he says, I'm out of here. Well, how did I miss that sign? Harrigan Loop, one quarter mile. Huh. Well, alrighty then. I don't know exactly. Whoa. <laughs> did we go over this? I thought we went over this. I don't know. I don't remember those rocks over there. Of course, they could have been in the shade. No, there's water in there. I don't remember going over water. I don't know if you can see that water back in there. Huh. Did we go over this? I don't think so. Nope, because there's water, and I didn't see water. This must be the Harrigan Loop thing that I... Huh. Well, okay then. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go back here and see this sign. Canyon View Trail. Okay. All right. Well, then that's where I was. Look at that. Pretty water down in there. Look at that. An alternate name for this trail might be Fork View Trail because there's an awful lot of forks. I am here. See right there? No. I am here. Finally. As you can tell on this map, there are a lot of forks. We were just accidentally down here at Harrigan Loop. So thankfully we didn't take it because it looks like what added mileage. I don't need to do that. Back to the car. We're back to I think this might be the second, no, I don't know, is this the first bridge, second bridge? I don't know, it's a bridge. It's very cool though, I like it. Oh, it's the second bridge, see, because there's another one. <laughs> and there's the road up there. Oh, I almost went off the edge. So we're almost back to the, to the road. Um, hope you enjoyed that, it was fun for me. I hadn't been down there and I've, I didn't even know it existed actually until I looked it up. We're gonna go see a couple more properties owned by Placer Land Trust in the future, so stick around. And for me and my goofy hat, hope you enjoyed that and I'll uh, see you later. <laughs>